Hey guys, just wanted to say I got some new merch up on teespring.com slash justinerdfigs. It's really cool. I think you guys would really like it. Enjoy the video. Hell's over, body. My name is Ben, and recently I got all the new Spider-Man sets, and I noticed my Spider-Man display was a mess. So me and my brother Jude went through it all and got rid of extra stuff and made something that I think is really, really cool and really, really special that I've worked really hard on with all of the Spider-Man stuff I've been collecting for a long time. Uh, so yeah, uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy this. Yeah. So the build is kind of separated into three main uh, panels. It's kind of based off a comic book. So yeah, panel one kind of ends right here at the stop of the buildings. And then panel two kind of ends over here uh, at the construction site. So it's really three big displays of three different kind of sections of this Spider-Man New York City that I put together. So, uh, I wanted to make it look full, like a full city, so I have a couple buildings in here. Over there is my custom Daily Bugle, and here's my custom Sanctum Sanctorum. If you would like to see full videos on both of those, uh, comment that, because I'm considering doing videos on those. If you guys would like to see it, I think that I will, but I don't know. I don't know if you guys want it or not. So, I'm going to start off with the Daily Bugle, and Jude wanted to put Gwenpool on top, so she's up there. Just kind of hanging out, and uh, we have Spider Gwen coming in because basically the story here is that the villains are attacking. He doesn't know why. That's basically it. We don't know why villains are attacking. So we got a couple of fr oh, frying, flying enemies here. Here is a green goblin on a custom glider that I made for him, and the new vulture. Uh, I think that's a really great figure. And here you can see my Sanctum Sanctorum slash Spider-Man apartment set. And I just kind of modified it to take the window off. Um, pretty cool, uh, pretty cool uh, set. I wanted to leave it together and put it here. Um, and on top we got a couple of heroes coming in. Of course we got Harry, a uh, new goblin version. Made that a long time ago. Some of you from Wikipedia will remember this figure. I also have my newer... Uh, this guy, uh, Spider Noir. I don't know what to do with my uh, Spider Man into the Spider Verse figures, so they're just kind of here for now. And this building is not only uh, Peter Parker's apartment, but it is also the uh, the Defender's main base. It's kind of hard to see. I have the flashlight on because I don't have lights installed yet. I want to get lights installed soon, and so that's why it may have a bit of a glare. But there's my custom Iron Fist you guys have probably seen. Uh, and yeah, there's him. And uh, Power Man and White Tiger, and they're all coming in. And May's kind of falling over. I just made this recently, but I don't know. She's just kind of looking out the window. So yeah, this is Peter's apartment in there. You can actually see Peter's homemade suit from Spider Man Homecoming right in there. And it's uh, basically, other than that, it's exactly how it was in the set. Um, and also Jude wanted to include Batrock the Leaper, an old figure I made, in here ordering a pizza as a little joke. And so the big bad guy is the giant Venom, which is uh, a new Lego set. I took off the handlebars. So basically, this thing is already dusted, dusty. I've only had it for like not even a month. Um, but yeah, I took off the handlebars. So this is actually Venom. This isn't a Venom mech or whatever that set is supposed to be. We've also got a Mysterio with a little dust cloud I built, or smoke cloud, he's using his effects. Uh, over here we got a bank that has just been robbed by these guys, we'll get into that in a bit. And here we have Agent Venom, on an older figure as well, coming in to attack Big Venom. And he's on top of my custom sanctum, as well as Penny Parker, I haven't created her mech yet, so it's just kind of her. Man, it is, that's really bright, but yeah, that's my C Penny Parker. Uh, I'll show her uh, once I finish my other Spider-Verse figures. I want to display them somewhere else. They're just kind of up here for now, though. Um, here we have a, a uh, Iron Spider kind of swinging in off the Sanctum to save the day. And he just knocked over this bus stop sign just from the end of the park people set. City and park set. Yeah. Um, also, yeah, pretty much all the new sets I didn't take apart. So here's Spider-Man. 
little, I love this, I love this. I put him right here so you can just pull him out. So this is a giant spider. He's driving it. I know it's weird. It's a like weird for Spider-Man to have a giant spider, but it's just such a cool set. I want to keep it together. And so over here we have a uh, fell over. But so basically, while the villains are causing all this ruckus, uh, Shocker is using that as an excuse to for him and his goons, which are the goons from the Spider-Man Homecoming uh, movie, to uh, rob the bank. So that's why the bank's robbed. Uh, we got some cash in there. This was kind of Jude's idea. Uh, I didn't know what to do with this set, but I wanted to keep it in uh, without keeping the rest of the homecoming stuff because I wanted to be more comic-y. So yeah, it's kind of over there. Um, moving on to the bridge. This is kind of more just random battles that the heroes can't figure out why, why are we attacking them. Here's my custom lizard. You guys know I entered it into Decent's contest with uh, one of these new Spider-Mans trying to web him. And over here we have a really big battle. We've got the Rhino and uh, Carnage and Electro fighting against Scarlet Spider and the new Spider Mech. I thought it fit him better than it did Spider Man, so I gave it to him. And uh, Nova, who's uh, blasting at him, he's got a lot of the new Power Blast pieces. You can see some of the power uh, kind of surging off. And Miles Morales was also helping, and then he swings down and is like, Oh, wait, there is a dock with Doc Ock under the bridge. What? This is crazy. I work this, uh, I don't know. I'm, I don't know why I made a plot for this. But yeah, we have Doc Ock down here, and he's got a little laboratory, because I, want, I, I wanted to keep this set together, too. So I made a little dock for Doc Ock, the Doc Ock dock, and, oh gosh, he's, why did I point at him? Uh, he's got a little mug. I thought that would be funny. Um, and he's got all this guards, so Miles is gonna have to fight all these guards. So after he finishes fighting them, he realizes what's Doc Ock doing down there? There are venom bombs that are blowing up in this in the in the construction site because the bridge isn't finished, and somehow the heroes didn't notice that at the end there's a construction site where the Sandman has taken over, uh, and the bad guys have put all these venom bombs into. So these venom bombs are blowing up. We got Venom Construction Workers. There's one there and one there and there's one back there. They've also got um, uh, uh, Mary Jane. She's held captive. She's going to be turned into Venom as well. And Squirrel Girl found out first, actually. I know people don't like Squirrel Girl, but that's an old figure. I like her fine. And she's got a little little squirrel. And uh, Sandman figured it out, so we have this giant Sandman monster thing, which... I think it looks really cool, him just like emerging out of the sand to beat her up. Yeah, I think that looks really great. Um, and also, you'll notice that I used a lot of these construction site things from, and that's also why there's this uh, police line, because it's under construction. They really don't need to be fighting here, but they are. So up here we have, this crane is taken straight from uh, an old set, and we have a 2099 Spider-Man. He's shooting some webs. I guess uh, he's just kind of missing, aiming at Sandman. Sandman has this giant pillar. It's kind of, I feel like, I may I may add more detail to it. But now it's kind of a pillar, just a straight up pillar. But Spider-Man is swooping in. He's on his bench. Like, you can see a bit of my Guardian suit display. Um, but he's coming in on his motorcycle, and he's jumping off because I thought that would look cool. And again, I wanted to use all these sets. So... Yeah, and then we have Hobgoblin back here who has been actually caught. And uh, Beetle. Beetle is flying to uh, get Spider-Man. And, yeah, we have some a bucket and just sand pretty much all over the construction site and a couple of boxes with the uh, Venom bombs inside of them. Oh, and also Craven is here. Uh, so, yeah, that's really it. That took a lot less time than I thought it would. This is... Yeah, that's my big old Spider-Man display. I'm really proud of it. Um, it's really cool. It's that's it. It's it's been it's got sets from like since the first wave figures from. Do I have any figures from the first wave actually? I have this beetle. This beetle was from the first wave. So yeah, this is stuff that's been sets that I've had for years, and I finally. Fix it all up into a cool display instead of just having them all in a tub or just being thrown all over the place. So yeah, thank you for watching this 
odd video. Remember to comment if you want to see my Sanctum Sanctorum and Daily Bugle. I'd be happy to review those. Really proud of both of them. Shout out to my buddy Jude. He helped with a lot of this. He helped me a lot, which is really nice of him. And I, I keep shouting outing him because he's helping me a lot recently with videos. So yeah, shout out to him and thank you for watching and uh uh I don't know. Stay nerdy friends, I guess. I don't know.